In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three class trophies slide design in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've created this 3D background completely done in PowerPoint with a reflection effect and the shadow effect. And when I click the first trophy, which is of gold will come and then the bronze and the silver come. So let me just show you when I click, you can see here, this is the employee of the month, which is made of the gold color here. And with the glass, you can put the number one employee name, some detailed text, and I've added some shadow effect. And when I click, then the bronze trophy will come where you can put the employee name, some detailed text, and then comes the, the third one, which is of silver. I have made few more slides with some different background. You can see here, I've just used some gray color here and here light color so i've used two slides one with animation another without animation so depending on your requirement you can choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link it is also provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the basic shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size later on we can increase or decrease the size shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to give a 3d look for that go to the effects under 3d rotation presets from parallel, I'm going to choose the off axis to top. So you end up getting a shape, something like this. Then I want to give some thickness to that. For that, go to 3D format. You can see here the depth, just increase the depth according to the requirement. Maybe this much size, or you can reduce also, not a problem. And then you can just see the lighting here. I can just choose any of this or the material also. You can see a different things are available so i'm going to lighting maybe i can just choose what are the best which suits me so maybe i'm going to choose this one or you can choose something else also not a problem or maybe you can see here this also can be chosen so let me just choose this one or maybe this this looks more okay and then i want to give a gradient fill you know so this is where i'm going to use for the the gold the bronze and for the silver so i'm going to give the color something related to that one so first of all i'm going to use a gradient fill here and by default i have used the gold color that's the reason you can see here i have put yellow here a gold color and a position of, that is a brown color here and the type i have selected radial and the direction i have set from center and if you want you can just change according to your requirement whichever way you feel so i have just selected this one press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to reduce the size a little bit and i'm going to place exactly on top of the first one you can see here and for this i can give some shadow effect you can see here i can just select this and increase the distance some shadow effect can be created like this then i'm just going to select both of this bring it down somewhat press ctrl d i'm going to use it one here and again i'm going to select this ctrl d and i'm going to add one more here now if you feel that the sizes are smaller you can increase the size also and you have to just make sure that this is properly aligned okay all right so i can or i can just simply group this you can see here i'm just grouping this one ctrl g to group and make sure that you can go to the format align and I can just say distribute horizontally also. So it gives me the equal spacing here. The next thing I'm going to add one rectangle, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline shape will, you can give any light color depending on your requirement and then just send this to back. All right, now I'm going to add a uh, one oval shape here where i'm going to add the option one two three uh, maybe it looks like a kind of a glass effect so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape because this is the middle is the bigger one so i'm going to make it a bigger one and i'm going to place it here 
shape fill make it white you can see here and give somewhat a transparent effect you can see here and the outline i want to give the gradient fill so here i'm going to use the gradient fill all right so here one stop i'm going to make it maybe a, a gray color the other one i'm going to make it a light color this one again i can make it somewhat white and this one again some light color all right and then you cannot see it properly i have to increase the width so i'm just going to increase the width all right and then you can just depending on the angle you can just choose how you want maybe this looks much better and if you want to add some more effect also for example i'm just going to duplicate this all right go to insert if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you got the merge options so i'm just going to add something like this you can see here i'm just going to add and then i'm just going to select this hold the shift key select this one merge shape and i'm going to just say intersect and no outline and i'm going to make this as completely white okay and i'm just going to place it here because the white is not visible i can give a gradient fill also for this for gradient fill i'm going to give for example only two stops one stop i'm going to make it a complete white and the other also i'm going to make it complete white the only difference is i'm just going to make this one as transparent either of this you can see here i can make it more transparent and this one let me just give some other color so that you can understand better let me just give some gray color here sorry i have to just give a gray color i'm going to give a gray color here and here also i'm going to give some dark color so what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to change the direction maybe i want something like this where the the black should come here okay now this one i'm going to make it a white and make it fully transparent okay and this one i want to make it somewhat lighter gray you can see here make it somewhat transparent so it kind of give a look of a glass effect maybe i can give it full white you can see here some effect you can see here because the we need to add the background then only it is clear it will be clearly visible for the meantime let's keep it as it is and let's work on the other stuff so once this is done go to insert text box and i'm going to give the option as one and make it bold you can choose any good font maybe i can just select arial black increase the size you can see here and put it one here go to insert text box and you can add the title here center align any color any font color you can choose make it also bold control d to duplicate remove the bold and you can add your detail text here all right so let me just reduce the font so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and hold the shift key reduce the size a little bit and place it here again ctrl d come to this side and further reduce the size by holding the shift key okay and this is the three and this is two so i just change the color depending on the my requirement i have to just maybe i i need to just choose uh, some bronze colors you can see here i can just choose a light orange then i can just choose a brown and then a more darker brown here or darker red so you can see here i got the the bronze effect and here i can simply select this or i can again i'm going to select this one i'm going to use this three color combination you can see here that's it so i have to make it uh, this one also somewhat darker color yeah so you can see here and the silver color it's simple to do it i'm going to choose maybe a light color then i'm going to choose more gray color and here more darker gray so you got the silver color and the same thing i'm going to choose it here also you can see here so we have got the 
three colors and maybe you can just change this one also to a gold color you can or you can just make it a orange color or yellow color also this i'm going to use it maybe this color and we have to make sure that it is properly aligned and this could be some silver color something like this now if you like to give some shadow effect also you can give it or it's not necessary to have the shadow effect then let me just add the background where you know our uh, uh, the glass effect looks more clear so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this my size shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give some dark colors here or any other color you can choose it press ctrl d and i'm going to choose some light colors and put it here so it gives something kind of a 3d effect and now i'm going to select both of this press ctrl d you can see here i'm just going to add it here make sure that it is properly aligned all right and one more the last one i'm just going to add it here all right and then i can just reduce the size let me select all these shapes you can see here by holding the shift key and then go to format align and just make it bottom so it is uh, aligned at the bottom i'm just going to select all and then i'm going to give some shadow effect for this at the bottom and i'm going to give a reflection effect here okay this is very important to give some reflection effect something like this and then select all and then just send this to back you can see here and this one also i have to just make it down so that the shadow effect is visible or i can just select this and i can just simply send this to back also so you can see here the shadow effect and even the glass effect also it's clearly visible now so it's up to you which color you want to use it in the background